This video is for the A-level gas law core practical, Boyle's Law. We trap some dry air in a glass tube sealed at the top. And with non-volatile oil in the lower part of the tube, connected to the bottom of an oil reservoir. At the top of the oil reservoir is a pressure gauge and a valve allowing us to pump in air above the oil. Here is the tube to let air in and out above the oil. The valve lets us trap and release air in the reservoir. We can pump air in to increase the pressure on the oil. This pressure then transfers to the trapped gas in the glass tube. I'm just using a bicycle pump. I'll just release the air again. The gauge is now showing atmospheric pressure, which is about 1 times 10 to the power of 5 Pascal here at sea level. And I can reduce the pressure to below atmospheric pressure by connecting a large syringe and withdrawing air from above the oil reservoir. Close the valve to maintain the pressure. You can see the gas in the glass tube on the left has expanded at this lower pressure and return again to atmospheric pressure. Now let's look at the volume measurement. Note that the centimetre cubed scale increases downwards. I'll increase the pressure on the oil which compresses the gas above it. The measurement is taken at the bottom of the curved meniscus. The Borden pressure gauge. We will have a look at how it works. I'll just take that cover off. Here is a flattened thin walled brass tube. The free end connects to a series of levers and a cog. As pressure increases in the brass tube it straightens a tiny bit and the mechanism turns the axle of the pointer as you can see. And lastly, how to read the pressure gauge. We're using the outer scale marked in 10 to the power of 5 pascals. Estimate to two decimal places. Read the pointer, not its shadow. OK, let's start. First we'll increase the pressure above atmospheric pressure. Pause and repeat the video several times to take accurate readings across the whole range. I'll give you a close-up of the pressure gauge and the glass tube to help you take readings.
So you should have readings right up to around 4 times 10 to the power of 5 pascals. And finally, I will reduce the pressure to well below atmospheric and I will let the air in slowly for you to take a wider range of readings.